hindi ba obligasyon ng isang malaking taxpayer na katulad nyo, as a matter of matter of fact, award pa kayo eh. Hindi ba dapat na tinitingan nyo whether the taxes due the government pertaining to the transfer of your share of stock ay talagang hawak nyo. So you don't have any record to confirm whether or not the transaction tax as well as the documentary stamp tax has, has been paid. Tama ba yun, Miss Accountant? Apo. Eh kung magre-review ang BIR ng inyong financial statements at hinanap sa inyong tax record ng transaction tax, di wala kayong maipapakita. Um, prescribed na po kasi sa so subject na siya. Hindi nga, 2010 upwards. Kaya niyong ibigay. Okay po! Okay, you submit it. How long? Ganong katagal? Um, hahanapin po sa off-site, Your Honor. Okay. Let's go to the second slide. Balance sheet. For the year 1999. Pakibaba ng konti para makita yung caption. Pwede bang pakilakihan? Okay, okay na yan siguro. Hindi lumalabas yung isang portion. At saka yung difference. Then we have the difference. Okay. Itong balance sheet, Miss Accountant, nagsabit kayo rito ng balance sheet as of December 31, 1999. At noong year 2000, nagsabit din kayo ng balance sheet comparative for the year 2000 and balance sheet December 31, 1999. Ang pinagtataka ko lamang sa aking examination ay bakit iba ang figures ng December 31, 1999 na inyong sinabit at iba ang figures ng balance sheet For December 31, 1999, na nasa inyong comparative statement. E ang sabi nyo kanina, you attest to the truth and veracity of all the statements, financial statements na binagay nyo. E bakit magkaiba ang balance sheet for December 31, 1999, based on the financial statements na sinabi nyo rito? Your Honor. Go ahead. Um, if you look at the financials in 2000, po, um, there were other expenses that were not booked um, and restated in 2000 financials. So if you look at the notes to FS in number 3, po, note number 3, the PDRs, po, there are movements in the PDRs or issuance of PDRs of about 80 million shares in exchange for PDRs. Simple lamang ang tanong ko. Meron kayong balance sheet na pinresent sa amin. Yung unang balance sheet, dated December 31, 1999. Binigyan nyo kami ng kopya rito. Pagkatapos ng year 2000, binigyan nyo kami ng balance sheet and of course, mayroon na tayong comparative statement kasi noong 1999, noong lamang kayo nagsimula ng operation, we expect na walang comparative statement noong 1999 sapagkat wala pa kayong operation ng 1998. Normally, kaya nga nilagay ko yung si Ilalim, wala na lang ang kopya kasi nagmamadali ako, normally, since they have the same account name and they cover the balance sheet accounts for the same year, for the same date, December 31, 1999, dapat pareho. Eh bakit magkaiba? At kung sila ay magkaiba, one is not correct and the other one is correct. Or perhaps both of them are not correct. But definitely, hindi sila pwedeng pareho tama. Yun lang mga tanong ko, bakit magkaiba? 
Yun nga po. Eh kahit na ano explanation nyo yan, dapat kung ano figure sa balance sheet, yun ang tama. Can you explain, Mr. Accountant? Your Honor, um, the financial statement was subjected to audit. So there are expenses that were incurred, um, booked or recorded in 2000 that's supposed to be accrued in 2009. That's why... Paano, paano, ulit? What method of accounting are you using? Are you using the cash accounting method or the accrual, accru, uh, accrual method? Accrual method po. Oh, accrual method. So in other words, the liability or the asset is reflected in the statement on the year where the income was earned although it was not realized. Tama ba o hindi? Tama po. O accrual. Sa kastaman, even if you incur an expense, as long as you have not paid it, it will not be considered an expense and it will be considered as an expense only when payment has been made. Kung meron kang expense ng 1999, hindi mo binayaran ng 1999, binayaran mo ng 2001 after two years, na mo lamang ikaw consider yung expense. Tama, under the cash accounting. Pag accrual, income earned in 1999, although not earned, ay i-declare mo na sa 1999. Tama po ba? Tama. So what is your explanation? Um, Yun nga po. There are late charges that were given to ABS-CBN Holdings that pertains to 2009. That's why in 2010 financial statement... No, 2000 lang tayo, tsaka 1999. Apa, apa. Oh. Kino niyo po kasi yung 2009 sa There were expenses so, in cash. po, nirestate po yung balances as of December 2009 to uh, 1999 to reflect all the expenses incurred in relation to the PDR issuance po. Eh, nagkakaintindihan naman tayo eh. Accountant ka naman eh. Eh ako, simple basic, uh, simple bookkeeping. Eh pag sinabi natin expenses, alam mo naman, it will not be reflected in the balance sheet. It will be reflected in the profit and loss statement. Tama ba yun? Tama po. Oh. Pero tinignan nyo po, nandun po siya yung liability is be recognized. That's why you have a duty. Ano nga, tinignan ko itong dokumento nyo eh, oh. Ito yung naman yung eh. Yung Kaya, yung pwede ba? Okay. Ito yung 1999 nyo. Malinaw ang nakalagay. Well, we can have a simple process. Mr. If Chairman. If source persons of ABS-CBN cannot listen to our discussion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh... Yes. I think the explanation there is that the balance sheet was uh, restated in uh, 2000 and the 1999 the financial statements that were submitted were not. Ito, ang 1999? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. It was not audited, the 1999 Ito. balance sheet. Balance sheet 1999? Yes, that, that balance sheet was not audited. What? It was, was not audited. That was the first year that... Uh, of operations of oh, uh, Eh, ang kinalang ko nga kanina, yung bang mga dokumento nyo rito, authentic ba to? It is possible that this is authentic and true even if it is not audited. Yes, sure. Eh, bakit kayo magsasamit sa amin ng the audited financial statement? But the next year, oh, it was uh, audited and restated. Oh. Eh, pero pinag-usapan natin dito, oh, 6 billion investment pagkatapos hindi audited. Does the Bureau of Internal Revenue under the National Internal Revenue Code does not require if your total capital is 6 billion 72 million 10,000 pesos, the balance sheet as well as the profit and loss statement should be audited? So, Honorable Sagar, would you like the BIR to, resp to respond? Huh? BIR, you would like them to reply? Yes. Yes, BIR is recognized. Bureau of Internal Revenue. Pag ang total assets ba at liability, ang total equity is 6 billion 72 million 10,000 pesos. 
must the financial statements be audited or not? It must be audited, Your Honor. Oh, it must be audited. So my Your next Honor, question yes. is, does the holding company have an audited financial statement for the year ending December 31, 1999? No. The holding company, the accountant. ABS Event Holdings. We don't have. Oh. You don't have. What about profit and loss statement? Did you prepare any profit and loss statement for the year 1999? Holding company. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. It yes. was submitted to BIR po. Ha? Huh? Sinabit po sa BIR. Do you have a copy of that? Um, we look for the documents that has a uh, stamp for, uh, stamp received by BIR. Pero ang problema natin, yun naman sinabit yung dokumento rito sa amin, nalito na kami kahahanap sa USB, walang profit and loss statement for the nine-month period ending December 31, 1999. So if there is a, a, a profit and loss statement na pinili nyo sa Bureau of Internal Revenue, ang susunod kong tanong, eh bakit kami hindi binigyan ng kopya? Can you answer for that? Yung 2009 po kasi... Hindi, um, yung 2009, 1999, ang pinag-uusapan po, sorry. Yung 2009 po kasi is um, interim, interim financial po. So, um, subsequent to that, it's a full year that has to be audited. That's why um, the auditor found out that there are expenses that have to be accrued in Hindi 2009. Uh, I got you, sir, kasi chagabu Simple lang ang tanong ko. Unang tanong, nag-file ba kayo ng, ng balance sheet sa Bureau, Interna, o Bureau of Internal Revenue doong 1999? Ang sagot mo, Opo. hindi. Hindi. You answered no. That's why I ask, uh, nag-file kayo, pero ang sagot ng inyong corporate secretary, it is not audited. Kaya ang tanong ko sa BIR, should it be audited? Ang sabi ng BIR, yes. Next question, nag-file ba kayo ng profit and loss statement sa Bureau of Internal Revenue for the year ending December 31, 1999? Yes or no? Um, we'll have to check po. Eh kasi ang problema, nagbigay kayo ng balance sheet. Hirap na hirap kami sa hanap ng profit and loss. Hindi niyo naman binigay. Eh sa mga accountant naman, alam nila, basic financial statement. You just submit the balance sheet and profit and loss statement. And you are dealing with a very big corporation. Yun lamang ang aming ano rito. At the start of my interpolation, I requested you to look at the balance sheet of the holding company from 1999 up to the present. Si David yung lahat yan. Tiningnan mo na ba kung magkano ang pinakamataas na cash na nasa balance sheet ng holding company? Wala. Kung isang daang milyon, kung limang daang milyon, kung isang bilyon. Wala. Wala pa 100 milyon. Ha? Walang... Uh, 2016 shows that it the the uh, cash and cash equivalents of a ABS CBN holdings or 2018 is 18,852,000. 18, 18 In spite of the fact na PDRs ng isirisyo ng holding company would amount to billions of pesos. Kaya doon lamang kami nagkataka kung bakit ganoon ang cash position ng holding company. Well, I think I have to stop kasi Mr. Chairman, I requested also the BIR si Assistant Commissioner, siguro kulang ang oras para isubmit sa amin number one. Uh, Honorable Barsaga, you still have four minutes. Okay. So, balik naman tayo rito sa ano. Iwan ako na muna in the meantime yung ABS-CBN Holdings Corporation. Mr. Chairman. Yes. 
uh, the time of the gentleman Bersaga is very valuable, but we cannot let uh, the incomplete answers of the accountant, which making it difficult for this matter to be understood, stand in the way of the time of Mr. Bersaga. If they will only answer it clearly, then we can move on to the other topics, but we're being held back by answers which do not uh, satisfy the Honorable Bersaga. Yes, uh, the Honorable Remulia. Uh, but at any rate, uh, nag-request naman po si Mr. Barsaga to look into that and uh, I, I think it's incumbent upon this committee that we go back to the figures that were asked by the Honorable Barsaga. Honorable yes, Mr. Remulia. Chairman, but uh, if, if this will go on with the questions not being answered immediately by the other side, then you are, we are letting them profit with their own misdeeds if that is the case. I, uh, I would understand the witness because the question uh, was way back 1999. But I think the basic question of the Honorable Barsaga is basic. You have 6 billion, but you have 18 million. Yun lang po naman ang tanong ng Honorable Barsaga. Bakit po ganun? It may be 1999, it may be 2009, it may even be last year. Uh, bakit itong shell company na napakalaking hinawakang pondo ay napakalit ng cash at maliit ang binabayaran na buwis. Tama po ba, Honorable Bersaga? Yes, Mr. Chairman. So I would just request the accountant, number one, did you actually file a balance sheet as well as profit and loss statement for the year 1999? If yes, could we have a copy? And second, were those documents filed in 1999 audited? Entry, if those documents were filed, what is the reason kung bakit hindi nyo kami binigyan ng kopya? And also, I am interested in the cash position. What is the cash position at the end of 1999 up to 2018 per year? Okay, kaya kaya mo na yan, Ms. Accountant. So I go okay. back to ABS-CBN Corporation. Honorable Barsaga, just in pursuit of the point of the Honorable Limuria, sino po ba ang, yung accountant po ba natin noong 1999, noong una itong sinimulan, nandun na po ba kayo? Wala po. Your Honor, I'm with ABS-CBN Holdings in 2000 po. Ah, a year after. So nandyan na rin po kayo more or less. Uh, opo. So, yun na lang po request ni Mr. Barsaga dahil may punto po si Honor.